Welcome to our investigation ceremony for the academic year 2024-25. We begin with our words of honor and glory towards our student body. the significance of this event. We are here to acknowledge and entrust our capable students with positions of authority and influence. These roles are not just titles. They are a testament to the Student Council's dedication, potential, and commitment to serving this institution and their fellow schoolmates. I now invite the Student Council themselves to join us for the ceremony. Before we proceed, I would like to invite the strongest pillar of our school on stage, providing our students with incredible opportunities to identify and recognize our potential. The anchor that holds the foundation firm against every unruly tide. The tree that spreads its roots so wide that no sapling ever slides. The chairman and CEO of the Grandier Group of Institutions, Mrs. Ellison. Please welcome him with a huge round of applause. I request you, sir, to please share your valuable insights on the glow of today, both for our country as well as our school. The first group of to honor the council members by joining their turn on stage. We will first start with the sport houses. Deputy Captain Fox, Omar Muhammad Hussain from 8B. Deputy Captain Kites, Mariam Abdul Sayed from 8A. Deputy Captain Eagles, Abdullah Bhatt from 8B. Deputy Captain Falcons, Samra Rabbani from 8A. Next, we have the Vice Captain for Hawks, Muhammad Uber Biran from 9B. Vice Captain Kites, Amina Kabir from 9A. Vice Captain Eagles, Sayyid Abdurrahman from 9B. Vice Captain Falcons, Zainab Shakur from 9A. Now please, let me welcome the House Captains. House Captain for Hawks, Akal Rila from 10B. House Captain Kites, Swabalian from 10A. House Captain Eagles, Muhammad Zain Sharif from 10B. House Captain Falcons, Aisha Muskan from 10A. Moving on, we have the school treasurers. First, we have Uwem Mujahid Ali Beg from 10B. From the girls, we have Zainab Siddiqa from 9A. Coming up on stage next, we have the Games Vice Captain, Muhammad Azman Manna from 9B. And for the girls, the Games Vice Captain is Mariam Hussain from 9A. Now for the School Vice President, we have Shayan Muhammad Maru from 9B. And for the girls school vice president, we have Fatima Nisamuddin from 9A. For the games captain, we have Hamza Muhammad Hussain from 10B.
And for the girls, the games captain is Aisha Falak from 10A. And finally, we have the school president, Muhammad Bhatt from 10B. And from the girls, we have Rida Zaheen Wazir from 10A. The most anxiously awaited moment has finally arrived, the oath taking ceremony. I request Coach Majid to kindly swear in the newly formed student council. I promise. I will serve my fellow students and school sincerely. I will endeavor to be a perfect role model of discipline and integrity. I will actively take part in school activities and endeavor to bring laurels and glory to it. As a prefect, I will uphold loyalty to the traditions and ethos of the school. I vow that I will do my best to maintain discipline among students and carry out all the duties entrusted to me. I pledge to uphold the Islamic values and principles at grandeur to serve as a beacon of righteousness and to fulfill all my duties as a school prefect with the utmost sincerity and dedication. I will work to promote the unity and harmony of our school, fostering an environment where learning and personal growth can flourish. May Allah enable me to complete my duties with justice and honesty. May Allah enable me to be a role model for my fellow students, demonstrating the qualities, compassion, humility, and kindness that are encouraged by our faith. Thank you, Coach. I request you, sir, to please share your valuable insights on the glory of today, both for our country as well as our school. Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Alhamdulillah, it's such a wonderful day to see all of you beautiful people gathered here to celebrate the Independence Day and to celebrate the success of these wonderful children. My dearest beloved teachers, staff members, and each and every one that is connected to serving Grandia International School, the students and especially the council members, a warm welcome to the 2024 investiture ceremony. My heartiest congratulations to all the members in the student council who have been nominated by a body of teachers that have seen you transform and grow over the years. It is essential for you to understand why you have been chosen. The responsibilities that you have to assume as a student council member and the aspirations that we have for you. My dearest students, you are resilient, responsible, and ready to take up new challenges. You have the ability to change, to turn challenging situations into opportunities so that you can now learn new ways of working together. You are now joining the League of Leaders. SubhanAllah. Most people assume and believe leadership to be a position. But trust me, boys and girls, leadership is not a position, but it's a great responsibility. Your teachers and juniors have elected you to so that you can appreciate and have the sense of responsibility towards them, which you need to conduct yourselves in every single manner in the school, be it curricular or curricular act co-curricular activities. This honor also appreciates the initiatives taken by you to raise the school's consciousness by transforming yourselves 
and the student committee. I hereby command and recommend that you take these responsibilities seriously and request you that you work hard with your utmost sincerity and create a culture of compassion, honesty, truth and support for your teachers, staff members, parents, guests and all the fellow students that is the Grandarians, be it your juniors or be it your seniors. Be vigilant, O oh students, to every activity happening in the school so that the environment is healthy, caring, compassionate, safe, progressive, and conductive to growth. You can only promote that which you practice. Accept your personal as well as your collaborative achievements with humility and gratitude, and know that you can grow into inspirational leaders. And however, if you want to be inspirational, then you need to be inspired. And today I only remember three amazing, amazing personalities that are chosen by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The first was Jafar Radiallahu An who was selected by a, by, to lead the entire group of immigrants to Abyssinia. And the way he stood for them, the way he protected them, was something commendable. The second man was Mus'ab bin Umair radiallahu an, who was chosen by Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa to go with the 12 people of Yathrib. And subhanallah, what an opening he did to Medina. Today, we cherish those moments by those individuals that turn into amazing, amazing leaders. And what more? And how can we forget the one of the greatest men that ever stood strong and tall as a leader? And that is Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu an. When he entered the land of Damascus and Syria and the greater Sham, subhanallah, he was walking with his servants. And it came to a time that Umar ibn Khattab had to walk and his servant had to be on the camel while he entered the greater Sham. And Abu Ubaidah ibn Jarrah radiallahu and said, Ya Umar, I wished you would have been on the camel. You are so dusty. What do you represent? And he's responded to Abu Ubaidah ibn Jarrah radiallahu an. He says, Inna kunna adhalla qawmin. We were a disgraced nation. It is only through Islam that Allah will give honor and dignity and izzah. So my dearest, beloved kids of, of grandeur, always remember that your izzah will only come through Islam. Your izzah will only come through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and serving his deen and respecting all the beautiful teachers that have been a part of your career, your growth and your personality. With this, I would like to remember the, the words that Jack Welch, an American businessman, once said and rightly said, he says, before you become a leader, success is all about growing yourself. But when you have become a leader, I'll repeat again, boys and girls. But when you become a leader, success is all about growing others. With this, we aspire to, for you to believe in the school's philosophies of Islamic values and culture and ethics and work towards excellence by constant taqwa, that is consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and transformation so that you stand strong, good, and steady in every situation. I would end leaving you with a beautiful message of the Quran of Surah Al Imran, Surah number 3, Ayah number 159. And I want you to all pay attention to this beautiful ayah. Allah's Messenger was the greatest leader, but even him, even he, was advised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be soft, merciful, and forgiving. Allah's Messenger was commanded in this beautiful ayah, had you been harsh, had you been rude, then you would have seen your own companions go away from you. So with this, my beloved kids of the grandeur that make us proud today, because of your qualities and your leadership, stand proud and always be humble. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Thank you, Zed, sir, for bestowing such pearls of wisdom upon us.
Dear teachers, as we celebrate their achievements today, let us also recognize the role you have played in their growth. Your guidance and nurturing have played a crucial role in shaping these young leaders, conditioning their talents and values that have brought them to this point. And most of all, our beloved principal, Kubra Ma'am, you have been the beacon of guidance, the shimmering light that shines upon the school and the students, with which will forever illuminate the lessons in our heart. In closing, let us approach the responsibilities ahead with enthusiasm and determination. Let us embrace challenges as opportunities for growth, and let us always strive to be the best versions of ourselves. Congratulations to our newly invested leaders. May your journey be filled with purpose, success, and satisfaction from making a positive difference. As we now approach the end of this enthusiastic and deliberately curated displays of patriotism, we must reflect on the lessons that were re-embedded and the flame of spirits that were reignited in every one of us today. Acknowledge the hard work in making this year's independence celebration a success. I call upon Saad Faisal of Grade 9 to give the vote of thanks. All good things must come to an end. And so concludes this extraordinary occasion. On behalf of Grandia International School, I would like to begin by expressing my sincere gratitude to our Lord for His blessings that have enabled us to flourish and witness this wonderful event today. A special thank you goes to our leaders, Chairman Mr. Zaid Hussain and Principal Kubrama for always encouraging us to do our best, much like the leaders who fought for our nation's freedom. Zetsa's leadership demonstrates the importance of standing up for what is right. Thank you for your unwavering dedication and for guiding us through this event. I would also like to extend my gratitude to all the teachers for their extraordinary guidance. Your guidance has shaped performances so beautifully, capturing the spirit of our Independence Day. Additionally, a big thanks to our logistic team, without whom this event wouldn't have been such a success. To our newly inducted student council members, congratulations once again. Your election is a testament to your potential and dedication. We have full confidence in your ability to lead with integrity, passion, and innovation. We look forward to the positive impact you will have on our school community. Thank you all for being a part of this momentous day. Your presence has made this occasion truly unforgettable. Jai Hind! With our heads held high and our pride soaring in the sky, we take this moment to feel our gratitude in our hearts. Gratitude for this independent country, this opportunity and this community. With this, we wish you a happy 78th Independence Day and we hope that we remain flag bearers of quality and liberty today and always.